with Albert Craig and Andy Gibson dropping out after last week's defeat by Hearts. Celtic recall Peter Grant, and that means Brian McLaughlin on the bench after the 0-0 draw with Ray Throvers in midweek. Peter Grant missed the midweek match because his boots were hurting him for a change. Just joking, Peter. The referee is Sandy Roy from Aberdeen. So Celtic kick off, hoping to keep up the good away record this season. In fact, they've lost just once in the league here in the last 15 visits, which stretches back a long time. And immediately, Simon Donnelly, who scored last week, making an impact. It's McNamara to Donnelly. Through for McStay. Turner's with him. And Trying to shake off the attention of Steve Welsh. This is Collins. Josh McKinley's in support. Thomas just ahead of him. It's lofted through for Collins. And I'm headed behind by Derek McWilliams for the corner kick to Celtic. Then Hughes pushes forward. And the header goes just over the top. Doherty, picked up now by Smith, Turner, and we're trying to force his way through, it's Van Cross McKinley who clears, that's Van Hoydonk, cross to Donnelly, and that one's uh, carelessly given away, and the referee awards the free kick against Hughes, it was Pittman who was going through, Steve Pittman who strikes it and they struck it well in the defensive wall again stood up to this is Donnelly trying to get forward he lays it off to Tom Van Hoydonk it's easily cut out though by Cameron Smith plays it through Cameron again and then Van Hoydonk uh, touch lets him down it's across now to Alan Dinney Looking for Foster. Now it's certainly getting tough out there. And Ian Cameron makes a point to the referee. Peter Grant was in the end of that one. Celtic have the free kick, which is quickly taken. It's going to be a difficult afternoon for Sandy Roy, the referee. Here's Big Stay now. Decent run by him. Across to Tom. McNamara calls for it. This is McNamara. Good running by him. The ball goes wide, but again Jackie McNamara making a good run. It's Foster who got the touch. And she'll play it back to Tosh McKinley. Collins takes a tumble, and after he allows uh, play to go on. It's laid off by Foster, but uh, runs away from Stephen Doherty. Stay. Good run by Collins. Provides a cross. The chance is on for Van Hoydon. And Celtic make the breakthrough after 35 minutes. And that was great play in the left hand side by John Collins. It was a perfectly timed run by the Celtic midfielder. And then he sent over the cross. Good running by Collins. Got into space. Lovely little cross. And Van Hoydon who was getting a bit of stick from the crowd, gets his seventh goal of the season, and he's first in seven games, so that certainly takes pressure off him. It's Patrick Thistle nil, Celtic one. This is Hughes for Celtic, and Hoydonk, up by Cameron. Comes Foster, breaks away now to Doherty, real chance here, oh that's a marvellous strike by Stephen Doherty, and within three minutes he's got Thistle on level terms, well Wayne Foster attacked the ball initially, and it brought
broke away from the Celtic defenders and set up the chance for Stephen Doherty. And although Marshall got a touch on it, there was so much power in the shot, it went right into the back of the net. It's Patrick Thistle 1, Celtic 1. With a perfect reply from Patrick Thistle. Half time whistle sounds. So, not the best of first halves, but it was uh, Van Hoydonk uh, who made the breakthrough after 35 minutes. Delightful play by John Collins, who found an opening on the left hand side, delivered the cross, and there was Van Hoydonk to finish off. Then, just three minutes later, Wayne Foster did enough going into the challenge with John Hughes. The ball broke away to Stephen Doherty, and uh, he pushed forward and slammed it behind Gordon Marshall. The half time score at Fairhill is Patrick Thistle 1, Celtic. One. So this will start the second half. And there's been only one draw between the clubs here in the last 15 years. That actually came last season. And uh, this will certainly will have to push hard in this second half. And into this match, 15 points behind Celtic, albeit having a game in hand. And digs in well. So do is Hughes for Celtic. This is McNamara. McStay trying to carve away through Turner's with him. Still it's McStay. That's a free kick again right on the edge of the area. And Turner's not happy. So that's Andreas Tom over the ball. Is forward. Side man wide up. It's Tom who starts to run, clips it forward. Van Hoydonk there, and Pierre Van Hoydonk gets his second goal of the game, and it's 2-1 for Celtic. 56 minutes one, and the German and the Dutchman combine to put Celtic in front again. Van Hoydonk. Giving Nicky Walker absolutely no chance. So the two foreign imports cost Celtic almost four million pounds combining. It's Arctic Thistle one, Celtic two. on the far side and the referee has awarded the free kick Tommy Turner who gets a word of warning with a back chat here's a chance for Celtic and that was Hughes coming so close the ball swept in by Donnelly Hughes got his head to it not far away Pierre van Hoydonk there was the hero of the afternoon. They gave Celtic the lead after 35 minutes. Paul McStay struck a lovely ball through to John Collins. Good running by Collins. He provided the cross and Van Hoydonk was there. And after 38 minutes, uh, Stephen Doherty with a fine goal. The 19-year-old running through after Foster had challenged Hughes and he slammed the ball beyond Gordon Marshall. And then in 56 minutes, Van Hoydonk got the points for Celtic. A free kick by Andreas Tom. And uh, the Dutchman stretched forward to grab the points for Celtic. The final score here at Fairhill is Patrick Thistle 1, Celtic 2.